What's one word that best describes you? Interesting. In order to focus Kelly's job search, he submitted an aptitude test to the Red Path Center, an organization that helps people with autism find and maintain employment. Growing up, I've had some kind of testing to understand my thought process, but I don't know what to expect. I kind of want to leave like a good impression. I don't want to like seem kind of out there. Not too out there. I am out there, but I don't want to be too out there. Upon his arrival at Red Path, Kelly meets with Sarah Southey, a career counselor. Hi, Kelly. Hi, yes. Hi, good to meet Many you. individuals that we see here at the center struggle with taking their education and finding meaningful employment after that. I was really impressed by your resume. Oh, thank you. You did a really good job at making yourself unique. I also try to use uh, like a different kind of comic font. Uh, yeah. Because I figured, you know, it just shows like a bit of uh, my outgoing uh, natural aspect in that sense. Yeah, I definitely see some of your personality coming through in this. Kelly has a lot of great potential and, and, a, and a solid education that backs him up in terms of finding meaningful employment. I see up to 2013, but we don't have any sense of what you've really been up to since then. If they don't have any explanation of the last few years at all, yeah. then they're going to say, okay, what's this guy been doing? Just sitting around? And that's not usually what employers are looking for in terms of hiring someone. They want someone who's been active and, yeah, and that sort of thing. What's been going on since 2013 to now? Uh, since 2013 to now, uh, in a nutshell, nothing much at all, quite okay. honestly. Ironically, the times when uh, there isn't anything on my plate, when I should just like be trying to look into something, mm -hmm. like watching online videos, uh, YouTube yeah. and stuff, into the mm -hmm. late night, like uh, one or two, or sometimes mm -hmm. even actually till three in the morning. I shouldn't wow. even say sometimes, it happens quite a lot, honestly. Okay. For a lot of jobs, those hours are a bit tricky. Right? Oh, I know. I'm yeah. definitely going to have to, like, uh, like, when there's an actual job, I will try and uh, adjust myself obviously to the best of my ability because mm -hmm. I know they're expecting me like mm -hmm. to really do a good job and that's what I want to try and do. Organizing your time, setting aside a little bit of time would be a huge part to getting back on track for, for getting applications out, right? After learning more about Kelly's job search, Sarah takes him through the results of his aptitude test. I don't exactly know what I want to do. There are a lot of things that I do love that I don't mind trying, that I wouldn't uh, mind trying like a few times or even once. But the actual concrete job off the top of my head, like to list you down anything, I would just put down a question mark. Computer skills are a strong area for you. It does mention, you know, office administration. Okay. What if you did some sort of social media job? Yeah, that could be something I could probably be okay with. Mm -hmm. I would say keeping an open mind to different kinds of media-related jobs might be a good fit for you based on what we're seeing here. Yeah. I'm going to turn you over shortly after your lunch now to Dr. Stoddard. The future, a lot to take in.